good here? Yeah. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Folks. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Mi nombre, my name is Cesar Valdebenito. Elsa Valdebenito. I am Mia. The life in Chile for me was very hard. This is the reason we came to Australia. For me it was quite better, not better economical, but better in different ways. You can look after your children in Chile very well. The quality of life or the difference in status is a lot more obvious. I think here we all tend to blend in as, as one. You wouldn't know whether your neighbour had a lot more money or less money than you. Yeah, we were living in Laja. Uh, Sin Juan and Mary. Laja is a very small country town. It's famous for Laja Falls, an amazing, extraordinary waterfall. My dad comes from Laja. The purity in, in Laja is the paper mill. No has another job there, only paper mill, that's it. And Chile was quite a housewife. I never work because it's no job for women in Chile. Well, in Chile, I've been in police force for four years. And after I leave the, the police force for, for the wages, for money, I started paper mill. Paper mill is better. And part of that paperwork was organising forms for certain workers to migrate to Australia when Australia opened its stores to uh, skilled workers. It was hard to get the visa, and as, but if you get the visa, the government helped straight away you with the tickets. It was a little bit hard, very, very, very hard. But uh, in the end, we, we win, we come in, we take everything, and we have the immigration, we have visa, we have everything. And then they help us with the hostel. In Sydney, we arrived to a play was Kaoramata, I think. And in Sydney, we made a small mistake because no one understand English. We cannot explain to the officer there about we coming to Melbourne. So this is the reason I must come to Melbourne for proof. Proof to the immigration we have a job here. I'm coming back to Sydney and picking up my family there. Elsa waited for me there with Jenny and Miriam, and after we coming by train, train to Melbourne, a very nice trip. I don't remember living on the hostels. I was three years old. I was told that when my parents arrived at Tullamarine Airport, they were all taken to the Maribyrnong hostels that were previously the army barracks. And there, that was the house under the that scene looked like a tin. When we arrived to Melbourne, we stayed in Midway Hostel, here in Maribyrnong. That was quite good. Hostel was very nice. The accommodation, we had heater, we had everything, comfort, we had food, everything. The food was, for us, not really good because it's completely different testing. And, uh, but two or three years later, we buy the same food in a city. They changed their whole life and whole world and moved to a foreign country. Because we were young, I was young, I was only 26. To go into another country was something wonderful. We didn't think where we were going or, or what uh, uh, going to happen to us in another country. The opportunities that Australia offers are far greater than what any opportunity I could have had in Chile. Although if we lived there um, and never experienced Australia, I wouldn't have known the difference. In Australia now, it's good. Life in Australia is great. <laughs> a hundred better than Chile. Good job and good wages. Good comfort for life. We have a choice to buy a house, buy a car. Everything is okay here in Australia.